Hi, pen friends. Welcome back to Ginger Peachy Pins. My name is Sarah, and today we are going to unbox a new pen. Um, I have not looked at this one yet. We're doing this together. So this pen is from Russ Pens. Um, I've got a couple of other pens from him and really like them. So let's see. It's got this in a package. He always includes a microfiber towel, which is super nice to be able to keep with pen supplies and a um, like a straw cleaner but they can be used for the inside of, of pen caps and things. There's a little um, like protector on the end of it so you don't damage anything. Yeah, I think that's super handy. I have not braved using one for one of my pens yet. Um, but, all right, let's see. A little Happy Mail sticker. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, haha, nice. Put that in my journal. Oh no, I left my box opener thing up front. Here's a pair of scissors. Proof that I didn't get into this yet. So in here, let's see. Oh, that's right. All right, his pins come usually in one of these little plastic tubes, which I think is really fun. Almost like a little test tube. And then inside, there's some fabric. <laughs> Come on out. I need some tweezers. And now let's see if I can get a hold of this string. Oh no, pen is showing. All right. <gasps> I'm really excited for this. This is from uh, his Black Friday sale. Well, it's purchased it early in the week of Thanksgiving when he put a bunch of his pens on sale for like $115. And so I snatched this one up really quick. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how gorgeous. Look how gorgeous. Oh my stars, people. I hope this color translates well on camera. It is pretty much a neon um, pink, fluorescent, kind of corally pink color. Maybe you can tell uh, next to my nails, which are kind of a magenta. And then let's see, what else can I compare to? Oh, you've probably seen... Franklin Kristoff Salmon Glow. It's actually really similar to like the glowy part of the Salmon Glow. Oh my goodness. This pen is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I love these rounded ends. What a beautiful, beautiful pen. It's completely smooth, super high gloss, so pretty. Oh my stars. And let's see, this grip is a different shape from anything I have. Can you see that? It kind of stays like, it kind of bulges out here and then it has a little flare on the end. But that feels like it'll be comfortable, I think. These threads are extremely comfortable, and so is this step. This, there is a step there, but it's not sharp at all. These threads are super smooth. I've experienced that with all of my Rust Pens pens. I have one that was given to me as a gift, and then two others that I've purchased besides this one. Look how pretty. Oh, I'm too excited. Those threads are just perfect. Like, there's no scraping, no... You can hear that one. But it's not rough in any way. Super smooth. And these threads are really quiet. Alright, so what to ink this up with? I don't really want to put a pink in here. 
I think I want a blue of some kind. So let's think about what blue I might want. You know what would look great is Diamine Aqua Lagoon. I think that's a really good, good, um, it's not a match, but a good, you know, one to put with it. Here's my ink swatches. Y'all, I have so many ink swatches that I need to do. Here it is. It's a bright, cheery, a little bit tealish blue. And I think this will be a nice compliment. So, let me open up this bottle. And I hope that this grip will fit in this bottle. I think it will. Oh no. Okay, is it far enough in there? Nope. However, I wonder if I can tilt it and make it work. I'm living on the edge here, people. Oh, and I forgot to. It's making bubbles, so I think that I think we're looking good. All right, I'm just gonna fill it on up. Oh no! Okay, don't be stuck. <laughs> I'm really. My dad would say, "Risking it for the biscuit." Gotta risk it for the biscuit. I tempt fate over here with inks all the time. <laughs> I'm like, let me just turn this bottle sideways and see what I can do. I do this with ink, uh, like sample vials all the time. I've always got them sideways, like trying to get that last little bit into my pen. <laughs> This is probably why I've spilled more bottles than most people, but I don't... Alright, knock on wood, not that I'm superstitious, <laughs> but I'm a little stitious. Um, uh, I haven't spilled any bottles. Well, I spilled something on this desk a while back, but it wasn't too bad and it cleaned right up. So, okay, that's not what you're here for. <laughs> These are my stories of ink spillage. All right, let's get out the trusty Hippo Noto and just continue right down this page. So I got this pen. Oh, sorry, you're shaking. With a fine nib. Oh, a medium nib. That's right. I went. Out. <laughs> I have so many fine nibs lately. I think I just felt kind of guilty and went with a medium. Also, I don't know something about this pen made me feel like I might want a medium nib on it. Maybe just that it's like so round and I don't know. So let's see. This is a Rust Pins. Um, I have no idea what this pen is called. If I can find out, I'll put it on the screen. He just had them all lined up on an Instagram post and I don't remember seeing names. And of course I use my phone to film so I can't look in it right now. All right. Pink pen. Yay. <laughs> and I got it with a medium Yovo nib. It's a gold tone nib, which I think looks really nice with this. And see, it does have a little translucency to it. And in his post, he said it had a little translucency. Oh, there was a post dedicated to this and it said what, where the material was from and everything. So yeah, I'll be able to put that on the screen. And this ink is Diamine Aqua Lagoon. Such a great, great, great bright blue. I love this one. It, I mean, it lives up to its name because it looks like bright blue ocean, you know, really, really pretty. You can't see that. I'm sure, I'm sure very well. Hopefully this comes across pretty well. It's just a bright blue with a little bit of teal. Let's see if I can compare it to something that might help. Just a little cat back. I'm going to compare it to Diamine Marine because you've seen that before. That's another favorite of mine. All right, you can see that marine is greener. 
and um, I feel like generally on paper marine comes out a little bit darker than aqua lagoon does. I put a lot I put aqua lagoon into my SD in whatever color this was what's it called aqua anyway it's like a perfect match for this pen so if you've seen this aqua SD it is a, a spot-on perfect match that's I think this is the only ink I've put in that pen so anyway there we are this gorgeous new pink pen I'm so excited I did not buy anything for Black Friday um, I don't think I don't think I bought anything for Black Friday but um, yeah but I bought this before it so we're counting this as my Black Friday purchase and I'm so so excited for it so yes I'm gonna go and enjoy my new pen you have a wonderful day I hope that you had a great Thanksgiving um, and, uh, yeah, going into the holiday season, who's excited? I'm super excited. I love Christmas time. I love that it's finally getting coldish down here in the South. I love Christmas lights and hot chocolate and Christmas movies and getting ready to celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus. So, um, yeah, just a wonderful time of year. Christmas music. Yay. So here we are. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of this beautiful pen. Did you pick up anything for Black Friday or for um, or any of these uh, sale pens from Russ Pens? Let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye. <laughs>